good morning. I'm currently on my way to have an MRI just because I had recent inflammation. <laughs> Not alone, as you can tell. I had recent inflammation um, in my recent stool and blood tests, and so I've been sent for an MRI. Try and work out what's going on, you know, get a bigger picture. It's pissing it down with rain, or at least it was. Going to St. Bart's Hospital in London with my escort. Where is he? There he is. Look at him. Loves it. Hates me, but loves it. I'm going to try and film as much as I can, so I'll be back to update you soon. We are in the reception. Somebody's freaking out. Half an hour to drink the entire thing. Okay. She is. Mm. Worth every penny, the stuff. So I'm done, I'm out. It was quite difficult actually. And I now can't see, like I can see, I can obviously see, but everything is like super, super blurry, which is kind of freaking me out a bit. I can't read anything. I took a picture on my phone and I was like, I can't see that picture. So that was freaking me out a bit, but we're now gonna get some brunch and I guess I will wait for the results, but I'll give more update once I've eaten because I'm hungry. It's like 12 o'clock, I'm starving. Okay guys, so just a little top line about what has happened since the MRI. So I am now 24 hours almost exactly since I had the MRI scan and I have to be honest, I'm feeling like shit. Like I truly feel crap. I have had to take the day off work today because my stomach is really mad. It is very, like I keep going to the toilet, keep having diarrhea, um, but it also feels like I've been punched in the stomach. I can't describe the feeling. It feels like I'm winded, like as if someone's hit me in the stomach. Yeah, so that's not nice. Similarly, all my joints um, seem to be flaring up so everything is super sore I just don't feel good at all and I feel very nauseous so it's lovely I've just had a nice bath though to try and help me feel somewhat human but yes there we go so I just wanted to give like a recap of what happens actually in the MRI a couple of things that people don't tell you about so after you know when you just saw the footage of the drink and then I you put the gown on and then you go into the MRI room to have the scan. I don't enjoy having an MRI scan, this is only my second one, but there's a couple of things just like you don't know, is that you have to lie on your front and it's very uncomfortable. So you have to kind of lie with your arms like this and your head kind of propped up but that means that you get a sore neck, or I get a sore neck anyway, almost immediately, like after one minute, and you're in there for about half an hour lying like that, completely still. So my neck really hurts, and I've got very pins and needly fingers, so that was annoying as well. I mean, they're not really problems, but whatever. And then, so you get given earplugs, and I got given headphones as well, and the guy, bless him, I love the guy who does the MRIs. He did my MRI like two years ago as well. He is awesome so if anyone knows him the guy who is the mri guy radiographer whatever at st bart he's awesome really recommend him if you are meant to recommend them i'm not sure anyway um he gives you some headphones which were playing some lovely spa music and he said actually i could request whatever music i wanted because he had spotify i should maybe have requested 90s 
R&B, Disney pop princess classics. But no, I like to be, you know, an easy patient. And I said the spa music was fine. And it was fine because it was like so quiet anyway. I couldn't really hear it. MRI machine goes on, blah, blah, blah. Makes really loud noises. You have to hold your breath a lot, which I find incredibly difficult, which I shouldn't really for someone who's meant to be relatively fit and healthy. I just can't hold my breath like at all. It just panics me. I get very panicked and I just have to breathe. You have to hold your breath for about 13 seconds each time. And you have to do it quite a lot. I'll be honest, you have to do it quite a lot. And it is quite shit. That's not enjoyable at all, especially if you're like me, you're bad or you don't like holding your breath. That's something to note. Um, and then just towards the end of your scan, you have the cannula in your arm. And so you get injected with uh, a shot of buscapan and then a shot of something else. And I'm not sure what that is. I think it's gandolinium or something. But I think that is part of the contrast dye thing. I'm not really sure. Don't ask me about that one. What I will say though, is that no one tells you about the side effects of these things. And something that I experienced immediately after the MRI is uh, the side effect of buscapan, which is blurred vision which no one tells you about. So I came out and I just happened to look at my phone. I think I was taking a picture of the MRI machine, whatever, I don't know, classic, do it for the gram. And I looked at my phone and I was like, I can't, like, I can't see. Freaked out, of course, drama queen. Fell into the chair behind me and was like, I can't see, my phone is so blurry, I can't see anything. Like really, really freaking out. Um, and that prevailed. Someone's like knocking on my door. Like, sorry, you're offended by my video. Get over it. Anyway. Uh, the blurred vision is super scary, okay? And it lasts for about an hour. I would say don't be freaked out by it, but do be freaked out by it, especially if people don't tell you that that's a side effect. I couldn't see a fucking thing, honestly. It was scary, but it's gone now, obviously. Um, but yeah, that lasted for about an hour. Another side effect is I felt really, really nauseous, like really, really sick. It came in waves, but it's still lasting today. Like when I woke up this morning, I just felt really sick. I didn't sleep well th that well last night. So yeah, all in all, it's been quite dramatic, to be honest, and unnecessarily so. Yes, so I'm just trying to look after myself today because uh, I'm not feeling great at all. Oh, story of my life. And we will see what the results have to say. I am crossing everything in my body that the results will be absolutely fine because if they're not, meh, that's not gonna be too fun. Check out my Instagram. It is gutinstinct.blog because I posted a picture uh, and spoke about my MRI scan very briefly on there. And a lot of people have made some really, really helpful comments. I just find it a really helpful and insightful and enlightening because I didn't know any of the answers to any of these weird things that happened to me yesterday. And you guys all seem to. So I just wanna share the love, <laughs> share the knowledge and just basically make people realize you'll be okay but it might be a bit shit. Here for you, hun. Good luck with your MRI if you have one. I assume that's why you're watching this video, but if not, I hope you feel clued up on MRIs. And if you know someone who might be having one, tell them, share the love, okay? Lots of love. Speak soon. Fingers crossed my results. Mwah.